Today I'm excited because I got one of the fragrances that I had on my list to purchase and it's by a fellow YouTuber that's very famous, has an accent, very, very rich, and paired up with one of my favorite fragrance houses in the game, Fragrance Dubois. Can you take a guess of who he is? <laughs> Bless him, one of my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. I finally got my hands on producer Michael's Fragrance Dubois collaboration. Now this has been out for quite a little while, but I've been wanting to get my paws on it and Max Aroma had it on stock, so I went ahead and I purchased this fragrance from them. Now, in watching producer Michael's content, which I watched a lot of it, we have a lot of similar interests. Watches, fragrance, jewelry, art. The dude is very, very talented. He has a great accent, makes great content on YouTube, dresses a little wild, crazy, and some bugged out shoes, but his watch and jewelry game alone makes up for it. I think dude has like a fucking $2 million pink diamond earring and shit. I mean, the dude's balling. I mean, we're far from similar. So I'm hoping his fragrance really personifies his style. A little bit ostentatious, slightly flamboyant, maybe it comes with an accent, I don't know. But here we have it on deck. Again, here's the presentation. This is producer Michael. For those of you who do not know who he is, he has a YouTube channel called, well, producer Michael. He shows a little bit of how the other side lives, that one percenter, that group of people that we all strive to be at some point in our lives, if that's our goal. But let's jump right into this fragrance. Let me take this sleeve off. I am a huge fan of Fragrance Dubois, so I'm anticipating this is gonna be some fire natural smelling shit, but let's see. Here is the presentation that the box comes into. It's a little slider joint. I'm not gonna lie, this smells like freshly sprayed lacquer. I don't know why, it smells like it was literally just painted right now. So this has a beautiful like carbon fiber kind of lid here. I don't know if you guys can see the detail here, but it's got a carbon fiber type top. And here is the producer Michael fragrance. Beautiful bottle. Love the presentation, a standard fragrance Dubois presentation, but the label itself is very sick. But actually at the look of it, the shape of this bottle is a little bit different than the regular fragrance Dubois bottles. It has a little bit of like a concave curve. I think maybe the fragrance Dubois bottles, fragrance Dubois bottles that I have are older style where they're just squared off. This has a uh, little beveled edges and shit, so that's pretty dope. So let's get a test strip out real quick. Let's throw this joint on the test strip and hope it does what it does, then we'll go over some notes, shall we? So, my first impressions of producer Michael and Fragrance Dubois collaboration. Very nice. I'm getting tuberose, right off rip. That's my assumption. This is nice. Tuberose, tobacco, sweet, Oh, that tuberose is relaxing. Now, oh, this is pretty good. This is, yeah, it's actually really nice. The tuberose is definitely calming down. I'm not the biggest fan of tuberose. For some reason, that white cocaine-ish kind of smell just brings me back to a really bad time in my life. Hmm. Cardamomy, tobacco-y. There's like a incense-y airiness about it. The tuberose is there, but it really shines on the couple of seconds upon the opening, but it really is settling down on the paper. Let me try this on skin. This is actually very nice. I'm not gonna lie. Great sprayer. All right, let's see. Same process. Tuberose really pops up and slaps you in the face for the first couple of seconds. Yeah, earthy, woody, masculine. I'm getting a little bit of a booze essence light though. It feels like a boozy kind of date, like the fruit date. Maybe a caramelish kind of burnt sugar. There's a fruitiness here. I don't want to I don't want to say pineapple, but it has pineapple-ish kind of vibes. This is very nice actually. 
I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought it was going to be something concocted or really smelled like another DNA that was very familiar, but... No, it has its own interpretation. What are the notes? So the notes are tuberose, juniper berry, cardamom, and menton lemon, Indonesian patchouli, Italian leather, cedar woods, and orris root, woody notes, labdanum, benzoin, and amber, and apparently secret, secret floral combinations only exclusive to Fragrance Dubois. I get a little bit of a mild booze here. More on the rum side. What's the fruitiness though? Menton lemon. I don't know what menton lemon is. I get a little bit of a citrusy sourness, but it's followed by sweetness also. The juniper berry really doesn't pop up. The orris root is now coming up a little bit more. This is actually very nice. I think they did a very good job on this fragrance. Very good job. It's got a sex appeal. It has a luxury kind of bougie behind it. It has a very good scent profile. I'm not mad at this fragrance at all, to be honest with you. Very, very nice. I'm, I'm pleasantly, pleasantly surprised of what they were able to concoct for producer Michael. I don't know how much input he had on this fragrance. I'm hoping, obviously, he had some interaction, which I assume he did. Yeah, this is definitely a ball spirit for me. Wow, producer Michael collaboration, actually quite, quite good. I don't know if it's full retail worthy. It's definitely pretty good. It's definitely pretty good. I like this shit. Definitely a ball spray. Yeah, it's good. Once I get over that little tuberose hub, which isn't too crazy either, so it's not like completely off-putting, it's not just a tuberose heavy fragrance. This has a lot of sophistication and sex appeal behind it. So shout out to Fragrance Dubois for creating this, and shout out to producer Michael for giving this the thumbs up. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Have you smelled producer Michael's fragrance? And let me know your thoughts. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know, it is biggest in the game. Smooches.